Sam, thanks so much. Now, if you have not filed your taxes yet, you have less than 24 hours to get them done or file for an extension. Joining us to talk more about that process is Phil Mitchell, the president of Croon and Mitchell Integrated Tax and Investments. Thanks so much for waking early on this big day for you for sure. Good morning. Yeah. So tell us first about what people need to know about filing an extension. Yeah, we're, we're coming to the deadline um, and it, it's something that makes people a little bit nervous when they know they have to do something by this exact date. April 15th is well known. What we do actually have is you have the ability to extend a tax return by six months. So there's a couple ways to do that. First, you could just literally go to the irs.gov and you can do click make a payment and select extension. Um, you could just simply print out the form asking for an extension, you will automatically get it. But I think there is a little bit of, um, there's a note to know that the tax liability would still be due on April 15th, even though you have an extension. So some people may not realize that part. Yeah, that's a really important part of it for sure. Now, what about in Kent County, Phil? Of course, the IRS extended the tax deadline to people impacted by the tornadoes back in August in that area. What should folks know about this? I live in Kent County, but was not affected by the tornado. Does that mean anything to me? Yeah, essentially everyone uh, who's um, covered in Kent and Ionia County will qualify and all it's really doing is pushing the extension deadline back or the, the first extension, meaning April 15th is now June 17th. Mm -hmm. And that's the only difference. And so the tax payments aren't due until that date. And it actually gives you a little bit of room too to make even an IRA contribution that normally would be April 15th could be done at that time as well. So a, f a few little nuances and ultimately it's gonna be case by case. We'd really recommend you probably just go ahead and do your tax return now if, if you don't need the help. But for those that need a little help, maybe they lost some of their files and receipts, they need all the time they can. Mm -hmm. Is there any big mistake you see people making a lot on their own? Yeah, I, I think what really occurs is we have a very complex tax code, right? And any little thing can be room for mistake. But if you actually listen to the IRS, one of the biggest ones is simply mis putting in your social security number. So you could be doing it yourself, it could be a preparer, but if they put in the wrong number, naturally the information's not correct for that social security number. Um, I think the other thing is just as people get more complex situations, all of a sudden it's a new item that they're not familiar with. Our suggestion is probably reach out to a CPA if there's something really difficult to get some additional expertise. Well, we really appreciate your help this morning, Phil. It's a topic that can certainly feel overwhelming if you yes. don't know what you're doing. You can find more tax deadline information on our website, 13onyourside.com. Thanks again for waking Thank up you. with us. And in case you